Hi YouTube. Um, I'm coming to you today with a little bit of a different video. Um, if you didn't know, I drive an older model um, car and with an older car there are some maintenance issues that have to be addressed repeatedly. So um, I'm going to be doing a short series on the things that I do to a maintain my vehicle um, to keep it in good condition because guys I really don't want to go and buy a new car right now that's just not in the um, in the plan in the budget for us so I have to maintain what I have today we're talking about your radiator antifreeze water all those things that you use to keep your car cool so stay tuned Okay guys, so I'm out here at my car. I'm actually in my garage. So you can see I've got my, my son's, the frame of my son's crib, a bicycle over there, ironing board. So clearly I'm in my garage. I've made it home. Um, but if you remember in my previous video, I mentioned that for every couple of weeks that I travel, I have to check my radiator fluid. So I did just get home, so it is very, very hot. For those of you that don't know, your radiator is right about here. This is a Honda engine. Your radiator is right up front, um, and so are your fans. I'm not sure if you can see. I'm going to try and angle the camera down. That's one fan, and then there's another one right over here. Ooh, can you see that? Yeah. Um, and those things kick in as your... Um, driving to keep your vehicle cool. Another thing that keeps your vehicle cool is your radiator. This is the radiator cap. Now if you notice, it says never open when hot. Okay, well how do I know it's hot? I stopped my car, it feels pretty cool to me, but here's the test. This is your radiator hose. When you touch this hose, and I can't even hold it for too long, it's very hot. Generally, in order to cool down your car after you've driven, I don't know, maybe 30 or so miles, 10 miles, I'm sorry, 30 or so minutes, 30 or so minutes, um, you want to wait a good two, two and a half hours before you um, try and open this cap. Or you can do it like me, which isn't recommended, but I do it anyway. Um, I like to pour water over this cap to try and cool it down, like cool water. And then you can even use a rag like this. This is just a dirty old rag to try and open it up. The problem with doing that though, that you may run into, and this is why I say it's not recommended, air pressure builds up in your radiator and in the hoses. So you don't want to open it up because you're going to get sprayed with all kinds of hot air and you could really, really hurt yourself. That's why they have that danger warning right there. All right, so what I am going to do though, because you can do this after you've driven home or driven around or whatever, even if this area is hot, this is your radiator. I don't know what the official name of it is, but I like to call it like your reservoir. It's, it holds water and it also feeds, you see this cord, this hose right here? This hose feeds to your radiator. So if your radiator is empty, it will pull water from here. It's like a backup system. So, and you can open this when it's hot. This is actually very, very cool to the touch. So I'm gonna pull this out. This tells me right here, you see how I have a wet section and a dry section? There is water in there, but it could be more full. So what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna pour water into this. Um, kind of okay, so I am using, I'm actually going to use um, water from a jug. This is just the cheapest water I could find um, when I went to CVS one day. And I keep the jug on me and um, just refill it as necessary. I like it because it has a little spout right here it'll make it easier to pour if you want to be fancy you can get a funnel I'm not that fancy I'm just gonna pour it straight in see that I can hear there's not enough water see 
see how much is going in there. Ooh. Okay. I'm going to stop because I can see that my water level is pretty high. Like just putting my finger in, I'm touching the water right there. So I'm kind of good on that one. You can also put antifreeze in here. Um, but like I said, my vehicle is really old. So I don't need to do all of that. Water's good enough. So that's it. I have just refilled my reservoir and this will help to cool my car. Um, this hose is still very hot. I've been home now maybe 30 minutes. It's still very, very hot. This is not going to cool off, guys, for another couple of hours. So don't go messing with the radiator cap or this hose or anything like that. Wait for your car to really, really cool down. I've filled up the water now. I'm going to be good probably for another two weeks, three weeks. I will check it again at that time. Next week, I'm going to be checking my brake fluid. So we'll be looking at brake fluid um, and oil in the next video. All right, guys. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it. Um, that is how you add water to your radiator reservoir. Um, and once again, I just wanna say, I am not a mechanic. I do not claim to have extensive knowledge of vehicles, but I do know the basics on what I need to do to maintain my older vehicle. I know to make sure that I am safe on the road, and I also know how to make sure that I do not run my vehicle into the ground because believe me we cannot afford a new one i'm just an everyday girl making sure that i keep my investment in as good of condition as i possibly can so remember to like this video give it a thumbs up <laughs> subscribe to my channel and tell everyone you know about this information have a wonderful rest of your day guys and i will see you in the next video bye